many kids do we want in the future? Count of three, all right? Okay. One, two, three. I'm not pushing that many babies out, but... <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm here with my boyfriend, Mitch. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing the couples tag, but we're not going to be doing the original, traditional couples tag. We're going to be doing questions that do more than just scratch the surface, I guess you could say. We're going to be doing some more serious questions so you guys can actually get to know us as individuals and as a couple and our relationship. The first question is what are our hobbies together and separately? So you want to go first? Together we read the Bible. Oh. Every night before bed. Every night well before we try bed. to do it every yeah. night before bed. Yeah sometimes we skip. Sometimes we find a show together that we like. We go shopping for her. <laughs> hey, last time we went shopping, it was all for you. Yes, but it's very rare. <laughs> we live in Minnesota, so there's yeah. a lot of lakes, and we like to yeah. walk around lakes and stuff like that. I guess it's we, nice out. Yeah, we've been dormant. You know, <laughs> the past for, six months. The past six months. So I'm just forgetting all the summer activities <laughs> we used to do. What else do we do in the summer? We went, uh, Sometimes hiking. we like skateboard. Yeah, skateboard. Oh, bike. yeah, skateboarding, biking. We yeah. have pictures of that. We maybe go we bowling. Can, maybe we put them up. Bowling. We go to the movies like a lot, yeah. every Tuesday. Yeah. Well, I write movie reviews, and so yeah, you know, we, we go a lot. And then separately, I like to disc, disc golf. If anyone hasn't watched those other uh, the Fort Worth, Fort Worth videos, yeah, the, the Fort, Fort Worth, Worth and the Dallas travel videos. I'll link them down below. And then I like to read a lot. Don't separately, <laughs> separately. <laughs> I paint. Yeah, I guess. We did it a couple times together, but it was mostly like your thing, yeah. you know? I can show some pictures of all my paintings I got them on here, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Jeez, I'm trying to think of my hobbies. Okay. I guess, like, decorating. I feel like I'm a really crafty, artsy person. Like, yeah. if you just, if you guys saw my room, everything is just like, colorful and in a certain place, and there's all little trinkets everywhere, so I think, like, Crafts and stuff has always been like my thing. We, YouTube! But we do that together. Okay, YouTube together. And we edit together. Yeah. Like you kind of do the first edits and then I come in. And clean it all up. You have a good eye for details. What is our favorite thing about each other? <laughs> like if I'm stressed out about something, he'll be like the person to just like not freak out, to just let me know like it's gonna be okay. <laughs> he balances out my moods. If I'm in a bad mood, like, obviously he's going to do everything he can to, like, be in a good mood. What's your favorite thing about me? Honestly, I don't care if this is bad, really, but I mean, you're, like, the cutest girl I've ever met. <laughs> and I seriously just can't get over how beautiful you are. You know, it's not, like, the main thing, you know what I mean, but, like, I mean, you are just so beautiful, you know, looks and core. You know, you're just so kind. Caring, like I said earlier. And I don't know, I just love you so much. <laughs> She just like knows how to, you know, just spark that <laughs> warmth in you. Aww. And you're just so beautiful. Aww. Sorry. <laughs> what is your dream vacation destination? With each other? Yeah. Um, I want to go to Canada uh, with her. Canada! Because um, we both, really, we've never been there. We both find it beautiful. I really want to go to Hawaii. I feel like that's like, the honeymoon vacation, you know? Too long of a flame plate. <laughs> <laughs> of a flame plate. Of a flame plate. <laughs> okay, I have way too many. Greece and Paris, the city of love, of course. What is our biggest pet peeve about each other? You go first. Oh my gosh. You can be pretty, like, messy. Like, okay. sometimes you don't clean up after yourself, and I'm a clean freak. Well, sometimes my room is dirty, but, like, I need things to be in places and like I'm just I'm a germaphobe and a clean freak and See, you're that's just my like, biggest pet peeve about her is that she's too is it clean. actually yeah <laughs> there's no such thing as being too clean well no like not too clean <laughs> but like oh yeah let me explain this one let me explain this I'm like when we go to hotels I like set my bag down on the floor and she's like don't do it there you gotta put it on the you know. Well, you know, hotel floors are dirty. Mm -hmm. Floors are just disgusting. And yeah. I have to wear, like, shower shoes. I when do you wear shower shoes? I will wear, like, my slippers in the shower. What? At hotels. No. Yeah, because it's disgusting. Imagine, I've like... I've never seen that. The red ones? 
The red ones. Last okay. time it was the white ones. She calls flip flops. <laughs> Slippers. Whatever. They're all interchangeable. They're the same thing. <laughs> oh, oh no. Yes, they are. Slippers keep your feet warm. Those have no toes to them. Okay, my Adidas flip flops? No, sandals. Yeah. They're sandals? Sandals. Yeah. Whatever. How many kids do we want in the future? Count of three, alright? Okay. One, two, three. Eight. Four. Eight? Eight? <laughs> babies out but I, <laughs> when i first met him he did tell me that he wanted eight kids i said i originally in my first plan in life for around 15 16 i wanted seven to eight kids because i wanted the resurgence of the big family <laughs> the pretty bunch the big family like you know like like the two younger brothers that get yeah. kicked on by the older one you know and they band together then the older brothers are like I first thought when you said that, I was like, good luck finding a woman that wants to push out eight kids. That's exactly what I'm my mom said. One. That's exactly what my mom said. What else did your mom tell you? Good luck finding what? Hmm. A woman that will... Hmm. Cook. Well, I found one. I know, but I'm... She's willing to cook, she just doesn't know how to all the way yet. My mom is a great cook. I'm not... I don't think I, that I can't cook, I just like, I'm really bad with like, well, timing. Cook. In like what ingredients I need. Yeah, you can cook. Okay, right, thank you. you can cook. Okay. What is one of the most important things the other has taught us in our relationship? Probably the most important thing is that you have taught me is just to how to like be in a relationship where you're supposed to love one another. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, like there's friends where you kind of like. You're not in the relationships to like love one another necessarily. <laughs> yeah. You know, and like your parents, you know, there's like tough love, but it's not necessarily like the same love. Mm. You know, you it's actually like I need to always consider your feelings and stuff. And that's a very different one, you know. And I've been in relationships before, but none quite like this. You know, mm -hmm. and I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and she knew how to do it too well. You think so? <laughs> yeah. That's why I like that's why you like so, me. You're so caring, and like I think I was caring too, but like I was like, I'm I'm like too rough, you know. I I look like I'm mad all the time. I need to like smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, RBF. Yeah, yeah, RBF. But like it's like to the maximum. Like, like mine is the opposite of yours, but like not really. Like that doesn't even make sense. But you have taught me to always like be thinking about the other person. You know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe in like a more unemotional way yeah because right? like you're very emotional I'm not and we kind of try to balance each other out on that mm -hmm. you know besides that though is to like just be myself and like just be happy in that I guess be happy about being you mm-hmm where did we grow up and where are we from our answers are kind of the same I was born in St. Paul Minnesota and I grew up here and kind of I didn't really grow up in Arkansas, but I like for like summers at a time I lived with my grandparents. So I guess you could say like Minnesota and like part Arkansas. I grew up in Minnesota, born in St. Paul. Were you? Yeah. At Children's Hospital? Um, <laughs> I forget. <laughs> um, and then I lived in various places um, in Minnesota, Trailer Park, Town Home, all around the cities. So. What is the longest that we've been apart since we have been together? When you went to Arkansas. Yeah, I went on a trip to Arkansas for a family reunion. But I think that was like five days, six days. Something like that, five or six days. I remember being okay. I missed you a lot, but uh, I think at that point where we had just started sleeping in the same bed together, um, and I think I was like <laughs> loving the extra leg space. <laughs> You care more about extra leg space than cuddling with me. What's your favorite memory together? You go first. Okay, so my favorite memory with Mitch is when we, I feel like this is, might be yours too, but when we took our first road trip to Texas. Probably not one of my favorites. No? What like, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Just not my favorite. Well, that was my favorite memory. Okay, why? I was just like... It was the first road trip that I went on with someone other than my family. So it was different. That's why it was more meaningful yeah. probably to you. Yeah, exactly. I'd already been on multiple uh, road trips 
There was this one time we were walking uh, downtown Stillwater and we had walked this path all the way up to like just nowhere and we were like we should probably turn around. We walked back. She had joked about like dating someone named Matthew. I remember it all. <laughs> like, yeah. We went to get ice cream. We were sitting on the bench, you know, just kind of, you know, laughing with each other, kind of people watching and stuff. It was a really sunny day. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I it remember it. Time. That's your favorite memory? One of them, yeah. That Aww. comes to my head. Right yeah. Now. yeah. There's a lot of them. I remember that. What are we going to school for? I'm going to school for, well, my major is going to be in communication, and I will be focusing more on, like, broadcasting journalism, because eventually I want to become a news reporter. Not a news anchor, a news reporter. The news reporters actually like go out and get the news and they're on the scene and the news anchors are the lazy people that sit in the newsroom <laughs> and read off a script. <laughs> they're just going to be graduating. Yeah, so I'm graduating this spring with a history degree and a Jewish a studies minor. Um, so, I mean, there's no specific job that you can get with that, um, but I really just want to write um, Fiction, nonfiction, really anything I can get my hands on. I write news articles right now, movie reviews. Where do we see ourselves as a couple a year from now? In Texas. Doing what? Just being a Texan. <laughs> well, I see us in Texas because we are going to move to Texas at the end of the summer. I'll be in college down there, and I don't know. I feel like we'll be leading a pretty normal life, but hopefully, like... We'll get more serious with YouTube subscribe. within a year from now, so I'll subscribe. <laughs> what do you think is the biggest obstacle we've had to overcome in our relationship? I guess for both of us, we have two cross-sections here. We're, I mean, this is an interracial couple and an interreligious couple. We're not the same of either of those respects. Like, I don't know if it's like the biggest obstacle we've had to come over, because um, we're pretty open about it. Um, We've just had to work through it, like, you know, mostly with the religion one. The race yeah. factor, that only becomes a problem when outside sources start, like, influencing. <laughs> we try our best not to let that come in. The religion one, that's more like a personal lifestyle that you have to choose for. And, you know, so we just work on that by just dedicating ourselves to God but in both of our ways. You know, we don't come at it like, I'm right, you're wrong, and, you know, I'm waiting for you to convert to my religion or anything. You know, we, we just try to expand on what we know about God and try to lead a spiritual life. So I don't know if that's like an obstacle, but we that's definitely the one that reoccurs the most. Um, we are going to do a video yeah, about this soon, so subscribe so you don't miss it. <laughs> what has been our biggest argument? I can't really pin down the biggest argument, but they all have to do with when one of us isn't like showing the other one that we care about them. Whether one of us wants to get an attitude for whatever reason, you know, and it, it, it's both of us. So we're stubborn <laughs> in our own ways. <laughs> yeah. So when that happens, the other one just gets angry until they like show them that they're acting stubborn, you know. All right, guys, those are all the questions that we have today. If you have any more questions for us, then just leave them in the comments below and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. And like we said, the interreligious video will be coming soon, and interracial one, so just stay tuned and subscribe. Bye, guys. <laughs> but I'll keep your number safe, cause I hope one day you'll get the sense to call me. I'm hoping that you'll say you're missing me the way I'm missing you.